Well, hello there. My name's Chris. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, well, we're on quite a journey. I can tell you that for nothing. Dave's going to turn up in a minute. That's my mate, Fat Dave, who seems to like coming flying with me at the moment. He's got a new BMW. He's turning up and uh, it, he's a bit of a card, actually, but I'm hopeful I can squeeze him into the uh, squeeze him into the Luscombe. Here he is. Hello, Dave. Come on, you can get out. <laughs> helpful advice. That's his son giving some helpful advice in the background. And his mate laughing. It's not funny, really, but Dave's doing his best. <laughs> It's a devil of a job to get out of these uh, to get out of these cars. Of course, the worry is, uh, how am I going to get him into the aircraft? But uh, we managed last time, and I'm confident we can do it again. Yay! Well done, Dave. Well, we've managed to squeeze us all into the aircraft, and we're uh, we're off now. We're just uh, flying along a tour cross line. Uh, coming up and having a look at uh, some of the uh, bits and pieces that went on during the Second World War and uh, we'll carry on flying across down Torcross Line down Slapton Sands quite a lot of activity went on here during the Second World War of course with uh, Exercise Tiger the whole area was evacuated and the Allied troops did all their training here using uh, live ammunition uh, I've made another video about that, so I won't say too much about all that in this one. And then we carry on down across Tor Cross, down across Slapton Lay, and uh, we're going to make a. Well, actually, we're going to carry straight on. Dave's never been this far before down uh, down in this part of the country, so it's quite an experience for him to be uh, to, to to be up here enjoying the uh, the scenery down below makes a change from uh, racing along that uh, line in a car. Just past, uh, just going past us. Oh, I tell a lie, I do beg your pardon, that slapped an up there. Um, we're just gonna cruise on around the corner. And this is Street Gate just down below. I'll open the window so perhaps I can have a better little look with the uh, with the camera poking out the side. So this is the sort of naturist end of the beach at Slapton Sands. And we'll carry on. We're just coming up to uh, Street Village now. And Street is just before, this is Street in Devon, not Street in Somerset. Streets just before Blackpool Sands, and we'll dip down in a minute and have a look at uh, Blackpool Sands, which is really busy. This is early June, 2021, and the beach is uh, is, is is absolutely packed. As you can see, some of the boats have moored off the cove, and uh, this also was. Uh, Quite a busy training ground during the Second World War, as you'll see coming up in these images. Oh, Dave, Dave, please stop wriggling. And here's some of the landing craft uh, coming up onto the beach uh, at Blackpool Sands. Landing craft full of jerry cans. Amazing. We carry on now and just coming up in the uh, into the picture there is a Stoke Fleming and there's some amazing properties just uh, just down there clinging to the cliff and uh, as you come around the corner oh this is just coming up from Blackpool Sands during the war that was taken of the children uh, watching the uh, exercise tiger down below street village very much in the picture I beg your pardon again my geography is quite shocking. 
That's in fact Stoke Fleming. I do apologise. Can't read my own script, that's the trouble. This is just down at Blackpool Sands with a horse and cart coming up, a horse and trap coming up the hill going towards Stoke Fleming. You can see the massive caravan park down there on the uh, on the left of the picture. And we're just creeping up around. Creeping being the operative word in this old vintage aircraft. Uh, we're creeping round the corner towards Dartmouth. And this is, uh, this. we're coming up here now to the entrance to, uh, to Dartmouth Harbour. This of course is the uh, iconic home of uh, the Dartmouth Royal Naval College, where all the uh, naval cadets come to train. And I think, in fact, most of the Royals have been here, done their Navy training and then uh, and then moved on. Image, and uh, this looks straight up the harbour and we'll come round, round the harbour. Our journey's really only going as far as Dartmouth today. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll carry on up towards, uh, up the River Dart. Unfortunately, Dave's bladder wouldn't last at that long to do the whole trip in one go. So we had to be, uh, we had to cut short our journey here. And we'll come back and see more of the River Dart later. And this Dartmouth Castle, how it used to look, or an artist's impression of how it looked during its heyday. Quite an amazing structure. We're cruising around now into the entrance Yes, yes, Dave, I know we're not going much further. Yes, yes, I realise we need to get back. Yes, 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 I know, we'll turn around in a minute. Stop. Oh, stop grizzling. Unfortunately, the view on his side is a bit different to the view on my side that Dave would be seeing out, this, out of his window as we uh, turn around uh, over Dartmouth and we're going to head the uh, airfield. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the journey um, and join me on the next one. It's been a pleasure to have you along. All the very best. Cheers for now.